I am never getting married. Never. Guaranteed. You picked a beautiful ring. Thank you. Mm. We're never having kids. Mm -mm. Ah. I love it here. We are never moving to the suburbs. We are never getting one of those. We are never having another kid. I'm pregnant. I'm never letting go. For all the nevers in life, talk to State Farm agent David Smith in Clymer or Bill Thompson in Indiana. Hi everyone, I'm Carly Krause of the Indiana Gazette and welcome to our weekly high school football preview show. We're coming to you in week five from Barry T. Medill Field, home of the Purchase Line Red Dragons. Purchase Line travels to Homer Center on Friday night, a matchup of two teams trying to prove their worth in the Heritage Conference. Both teams entered the season with a lot of question marks, but have since found answers to some of those questions. The Red Dragons and Wildcats are both coming off big wins, and two of the area's top rushers will go head-to-head. -head. On Saturday, Purchase Line blew out St. Joseph's Academy 47-18 in a non-conference game. They're coming off two wins and hope to roll to a 4-1 start. Quarterback Shamar Campbell has rushed for 659 yards through four games. Homer Center crushed Marion Center 40-14 last week. Running back Jesse Lee has rushed for 345 yards and seven touchdowns for the Wildcats, despite sitting out the first week of the season. Northern Cambria visits Blairsville on Friday, with both teams trying to move in the right direction. The Colts and Bobcats have struggled with fundamentals in recent weeks. Northern Cambria has committed 11 turnovers, but has won two straight games after losing its first two. Blairsville is last in the area in rushing offense, averaging just 81.8 yards per game on the ground. The Bobcats are 1-3 after losing two straight games. Penn's Manor plays host to Unmatched United this week. The Comets are 4-0 and still have only allowed seven points this season. Penn's Manor leads the area in rushing offense, total defense, scoring offense, and scoring defense. The 1-3 Lions lost to Northern Cambria 35-13. Running back Brent Mack is second in the area with 570 rushing yards. Unbeaten Ligonier Valley and standout Colin Smith welcome Marion Center this week. Smith is third in the area in rushing with 381 yards and leads the area in passing with 708 yards. He has completed more than 60% of his passes. Ligonier Valley leads the area in total offense, rolling up 387 yards per game. The Stingers had a hard time last week against Homer Center and dropped to 1-3 on the season. Marion Center is last in the conference in rushing defense and total defense and will have its hands full against the Rams. In other Heritage Conference news, Salzburg was forced to forfeit its game this week against Westinghouse after losing six players to injuries in last Friday's 70-0 loss. The Trojans would have just enough players to take the field, would have no breathing room. No guarantees have been made about the team moving forward due to a lack of players. In the WPIAL, Indiana, still smarting from the loss of quarterback Jake Selenskis for the rest of the season, probably has its best chance for a win this week. The Indians play host to Greensburg-Salem in a Greater Allegheny Conference game. Both teams are winless, but the Golden Lions have scored only 26 points in four games so far. Apollo Ridge has struggled without its all-purpose threat, Dwayne Brown. The Vikings have lost two straight with the Brown sideline by a concussion. Valley has jumped out to a 3-1 start and sits in second place in the conference. Apollo Ridge desperately needs a win to get back in playoff contention. West Shemokin faces another tough task against a surging Burrell team. The Wolves have already played and lost to the top three teams in the Allegheny Conference, so making a run toward a playoff berth is not out of the question, but it has to start with a win over the 2-2 two two Bucks. Derry's still looking to find any sort of consistency with its offense. The Trojans have been shut out twice and scored four of their five touchdowns in their lone win. Southmoreland comes in at 2-2. Two and two. Elsewhere, Punxsutawney plays at Dubois in a rivalry game. Dubois made national news in week two, scoring 90 points and losing to Meadville, which put up 107 points. The Beavers have scored only 34 points and two losses since then, and the 2-2 two two Chucks are coming off a last-minute loss to Union. Be sure to pick up Saturday's paper for full coverage of Friday night, and follow live scoring updates on Friday nights at indianagazette.com. We hope to see you next week for another edition of our preview show.